name is Jamin Shah and today I am going to show you around uh, Mazda Laguna Seca which is in California. It's a world famous track. Um, I've never been here before. I've only been here on my PlayStation or my Xbox playing some racing game. So being here physically for the first time ever is uh, quite exciting. Uh, they actually have uh, a vintage car track day today so uh, I would be able to see some uh, really cool cars you can hear the cars going by it's a bit of a cold day today um, and I already see some nice cars uh, that's some announcement going on so I am going to go walk down to the famous uh, corkscrew uh, if you have actually uh, see, heard about this track you would have heard about the famous uh, corkscrew uh, which is just a little bit before the end of the track uh, so uh, yeah stay tuned I'll show you around So again, the trailer you see at, at the end, at the back, over there, there. Uh, you could open it up, put your cars in, uh, and then you don't have to keep it open. So on the side, there's a door. Uh, the cars are actually on a floor higher, so their cars actually go up, uh, and underneath there's a workshop, so you can enter from the side door, and there's like basically your tools and everything. Um, The next race is going to be uh, vintage Formula cars. Uh, they're not necessarily Formula One cars, but they're going to be vintage Formula cars. So over there we see the Formula cars uh, gathering to uh, and waiting. Uh, they're actually basically uh, they're gathered and they're waiting for the race to finish. Uh, they could start their race behind the pace car and uh, uh, just waiting to race. I'm just uh, lining up behind the pace car. It's a pretty, pretty dull pace car for my life. Uh, well, we're not here to see the pace car. Uh, so they're gonna like uh, do a lap behind the pace car and uh, then it'll be a rolling start. That is 
uh, start finish straight of Mazda Laguna Seca Raceway. of the cars around before the race started um, so every hour or so different groups uh, the race starts so this is uh, the famous quarks group now it, do, it might not look a lot in this picture or in this video and that's because you don't really see the drop it's a four floor, four story high turn. It drops four floors. And look at that. Look at how slow they become. I'd probably be sitting at the course crew all day long just to see all the cars in different groups just go down the course crew. But I think we almost walked the whole track and uh, we started going anti-clockwise. Uh, so we're reaching the uh, finish straight line.
race on the way right now. The one that just started that I really wanted to like kind of not miss the start off was AC Cobras versus the Mustangs. The race is on the way and uh, we'll just try to grab a view of the straight finish. Uh, uh, sorry, there's too much noise. Uh, it's actually much louder than I'm sure what you'd be able to hear. So I literally cannot hear what I'm saying. So what I was saying was that I'm, I'm going to try and capture uh, the race of AC Cobras and Mustangs from the uh, start finish straight uh, from the paddock opposite the pit lane um, and uh, let's see who wins okay so we are waiting for the cars to come by uh, there uh, the, the first one should be coming any minute and let's see who it is Oh, I think it's the AC Cobra. And I think it's the AC Cobra in the second. And, uh, I think it's the AC Cobra one, two, three. Then we have the Shelby Mustang. Uh, so. I think the, the Shelby Mustang and the Shelby AC Cobra takes it completely the first half of the pack. And then there are normal Mustangs, Camaro. I saw a Challenger, maybe a Charger as well. But yeah, I think uh, the AC Cobras and the Shelby the Mustangs took it hands down. Okay, so as Jeremy Clarkson would say on that bombshell, it's time to end. And before I forget, uh, if you like this video, do subscribe and uh, press the like button uh, for more videos.